There we go. What's up YouTube? I just want to make this quick video because this is the moment we've all been waiting for. We finally have a kernel level jailbreak detection bypass that will work on pretty much all apps. If it works on Pokemon Go, it's likely to work on pretty much any other application. Pokemon Go and Snapchat seem to have the strongest jailbreak detection methods. Just to show you that it's working, this is my jailbroken device on iOS 13 using the new kernel level bypass. This is my jailbroken device on iOS 12 using an older jailbreak detection bypass. If I try to open that application, it just closes. To prove that I'm jailbroken on this device, I'm gonna show you real quick. If you were on a normal device, there's absolutely no way that you could be running Pokemon Go in a small window like that. So let's go ahead and try to play it just a little bit, show you that the application is 100% working. Try again, oh wow, that was horrible. Sorry, I don't actually play this game. There we go. I'm literally running Pokemon Go in a multi-window state. So I am definitely jailbroken. You can go ahead and we'll open up Uncover. Actually, we'll just open up Cydia. We have Cydia in the background working completely fine, along with Pokemon Go working completely fine. I just wanted to show you guys this new kernel level bypass. It is Fly Jailbreak. Now. I'm going to link the repo in the description because it is an alpha build, so it is still very early. This is the settings right here that were added. This basically translates to the kernel level bypass. In order to use this kernel level bypass, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and tap vnode, the top one right here. That is going to save the vnode file. You're gonna push confirm. Then you're going to go ahead and enable the kernel level bypass right here, which is this green tick. You can, this is the app list. You're going to scroll down to whatever app that you want to enable it on. For example, Pokemon Go. And then it will work. It doesn't even need a respring or anything. It will just automatically start working. I'm also going to link the Twitter. So here's the actual English translation of these settings. This is straight from the developer. So the top one right here is the kernel level detection bypass. Next one is the app list. Save address of vnode. So like I said before, to use this function, you should save the vnode address when installing or updating the fly jailbreak or reboot. Anyways guys, I know everyone's gonna be super excited about this. People have been waiting for a kernel level bypass detection for a while now. I can confirm that it is working on my iPhone 10, so it should work on all CheckRain devices. All right guys, I am running this now on my iPhone 11 Pro, so it does look like it is working with A13 devices. Uh, I have not able to test an A12 device right now, but it is also working on my iPhone 10, which is A11. I'm assuming it should work on all devices. And just to show you that I am jailbroken, we're going to go ahead and open up Cydia. I am jailbroken on this device. Once again, this is my iPhone 11 Pro. This should work on any app, just like I said before. This should absolutely work on any application. Pokemon Go and Snapchat have the strongest jailbreak detection that I'm aware of. And if it can get past their jailbreak detection, then it should be able to get past any other application's jailbreak detection. Go ahead and visit the developer's Twitter page. Go ahead and thank him for all his time and effort to bring this jailbreak detection bypass to us. And if you're excited about this detection bypass, go ahead and remember to destroy that like button. I'll catch you guys in the next video.